So another study that we undertook here to look at complications in patients with rheumatoid arthritis was to evaluate the occurrence of ulcers or sores on the legs and feet of people who have rheumatoid arthritis. It's been observed for a very long time that people who have rheumatoid arthritis develop ulcers that are related to what is called vasculitis, which is blood vessel inflammation, and also probably due to other factors that have to do with the deposition of immune complexes in small arteries in the skin. And the result of that is that people with rheumatoid arthritis are more likely to develop skin ulcers feet and feet ulcers that can become infected, that can lead to infection of bone, that can lead actually to loss of limb. Part of the reason that people develop ulcers is also related to poor circulation. So we have discovered that people who have rheumatoid arthritis have more problems with circulation. They're more likely to have obstruction of circulation into their legs and people who have worse circulation are more likely to develop these sores or, or ulcers. The big problem with it is that not only is it a, 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 an issue with healing of the ulcers and management of the infections and the pain that the ulcers cause, but people who develop these ulcers are at higher risk for premature death when they have rheumatoid arthritis. So managing the disease and managing the ulcers is really important to successful management of, of rheumatoid arthritis. So the tendency to develop peripheral vascular disease or obstruction in the vessels going into the arms and legs is directly related to the risk of heart disease. So these things are definitely very strongly interconnected and people who have peripheral vascular disease who develop these ulcers are also more likely to have heart disease and vice versa. These conditions are interrelated.